One thing that you need to know about the Sweet Heritage line, it's all about spreading love uh, through joy and soul. Yes, yes. Two of the things that you were really brought up to believe as you were taught to cook as a young girl. Down yes, south. I mean, my grandmother, I mean, I believe that if you're not in a good mood, the only thing you should make is a reservation. Uh-huh, thanks. Okay, uh -huh. uh, but also cooking with love, and my grandmother did that every single day, and cooking with, like, your emotion and things turn out really well. I quote you all the time. One of your cookbooks was entitled Comfort food that hugs you. Yes. And that's my that's, that's my culinary POV is is comfort food, and I always talk about my friend Chef Carla Hall always says, comfort food should hug you. And oh my girl, mm, oh. love her so much. So this is something fantastic. Now yes. of course it celebrates the corn uh, the uh, the okra flour. Yes. And yes. Um, where is our set? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Thank you. So inside you see. Okra flowers. Now, yes. these okra flowers flower on the okra plant as yes. it's giving you all that delicious okra that we fry up down south. That's exactly right. right. And you don't, see, unless you're growing okra, you probably don't know about the okra flowers. But I am bringing that motif into this. It is a visual clue about how big the cup size is. So this has two okra flowers, so that's two cups. This has one okra flower and a quarter, so that is one and a quarter cups. Okay, let's bring our camera over top because I want you to shoot down on all of these bowls. And we'll show you just what we got going on. We're gonna bring mm -hmm. a camera down, up oh, and yay. over, up and over. Here we go. So this is two cups. Mm -hmm. This is one and a quarter. This is one cup. This little guy is a quarter cup. Wait, wait. Also like a quarter a baby flower. Bear. There's a half a okra flower for a half cup, and there's three quarters of an okra flower, and that's three quarter cup. Yes. Now we have these. Oh, and they nest. Check this. This is what I love. They nest. So when you're not using them, that's all the room they're going to take up. Isn't that fantastic? Yes. Thank you for that overhead shot. That is awesome. Now, this is the tomato. This is the sage. Mm -hmm. This is the corn flour. These are all made of ceramic. Ceramic, which means they go into an oven up to 524 degrees. They go into the freezer. They go into your microwave. And they are just absolutely perfect. From, I mean, truly from prep to table bowls. You know, there's a French term called mise en place. Yes. Which means everything in its place. Everything in its place. And if you prep out your ingredients ahead of time, you know, a prep chef will many times say, well, let me grab my mise and we'll go over the recipe. That's right. Yeah, That's let right. me grab my mise. I know that now because you know, I'm around <laughs> chefs so much. I'm not a chef, but I'm around them a lot. All right, so this is what's exciting. Because now you can prep out your ingredients. Exactly. When I always say when you prep out your ingredients, you're in more control at the countertop. Absolutely. You won't forget anything. Have you ever made something and you look over because it's not prepped out and it's still on the counter? Look at this. Oh, oh what if it says two cups of melted butter, but reserve a half of a cup? If you didn't read through the recipe twice, you dump all two cups of the butter in at once. How many people have done that? Yeah, raise your hand. I've done it. Thanks. I've done it. And then you go back and you're like, well, do I add more butter or do I just throw it all in the garbage and start over again? Exactly. I mean, this is amazing. So you can really prep things out. What are you working on here? So this is a marinade for chicken. I have all of my ingredients here. I put in some chili flakes, some garlic. I put some rosemary. I have some basil here. Mm. I have some balsamic vinegar. Yum. Boop. And then I have a little bit of oil. Meow. And then I'm just going to work this in here. But all of my mise en place, if I know that this is my marinade, it's all right here. It's a good low carb dish too. Okay, okay, come on David, yes. That's mm. why you look so slam and trim. Uh, well, you know. Uh, but I'll tell you, you know what oil I have discovered? Avocado oil. Avocado oil. High heat oil. Yes. It's a, high, it's a good saute oil. That's right. I use it a lot. And this is another way we, we have our mise en place. So we're making a soup. So we have our celery, we have our onions, and we have our carrots. That's what we're I need three quarters of a cup of celery. Or I need only uh, a quarter cup of my salt and pepper. Exactly. It's all measured for me. It's all measured for me. I'm not you. having to pull out a measuring cup. No. Because this is the measuring cup. This is the measuring cup. That's exactly right. I love it. And this is mirepoix. I believe in mirepoix. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And also, you know what I love for those little cooks in the kitchen? Uh, can we go back over here to of show this visual? So I want to show you all this over here. So when you have those little cooks with you and you want to show them, like, okay, what is a two-cup measure? They just say two okra flowers. It teaches them fractions, right? Three quarters, three quarters of a cup. This you would see have that? taught me fractions. 
when this, I was in school? It would have. What oh. happened? Yeah, uh, no, you know. <laughs> I was, mm, everybody in my family had a very venerable time with math. All right. A venerable time with math. We had a very venerable time with math. Yes, we did. Look That's why I'm that. in TV. But can I tell you that this sage, very limited, 600 left in the sage. I have in the tomato, 650 oh. left in the tomato. And a few more to go around in that corn flour. That corn flour is beautiful, Pearson, by the way. Don't miss out on these because not only are they the bowls that you're reaching for to prep your ingredients, but they're the bowls you reach for to measure yes, your ingredients. Exactly. You're so smart. I want, the thing is, I thought about all of these items that have more than one purpose, okay? okay. And there's the, the, they're so pretty that if you're having a Taco Tuesday, look, these are not You know what I say? What? Why limit tacos to Tuesday? Okay. Why can't we have tacos on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? It's Taco I think it should be taco time is what I think. <laughs> but you know what I love about this? You could do taco ingredients, yes. baked potato bars, exactly. Sunday bars, yes. anything that you need, multiple ingredients, you now got them, right? That's exactly right. And I'm going to come back to my sheet pan with that mm. liner. As soon as you put the ceramic pan on the ceramic bowl onto the silicone, it's not going to move. So look at this. It's not, it's not, see? Because it's holding it. It's not going to spill. Oh, so great. Yeah, it's, it's part of your display. You know, our friend Steve Doss has some Latin in his background. He knows tacos. He does. The, <clears throat> <laughs> he certainly does. I have seen. Uh, Steve-O, would you like this kind of setup for your taco night? Absolutely, but it'd make a really great like charcuterie board too. Yes. For your olives, your cherries, your pits, all the little things. All the little things. That's mm. exactly right. And, and that's vegetables what, and hummus. Hummus, right here. Again, you have your sort of hummus board. As a former caterer, what I did when I was a caterer, I would put all of my breads and spreads into bowls. So if I needed to replenish something or if I had my backup already in the fridge, this goes down, I take this away, I put in a fresh one that's already Fixed up. So this is one of those items. If, if that's how you entertain, you need two sets. But you know what Steve taught me about sour cream and tacos? What's that? Take your soft taco shell and smear it with the sour cream first, and yep. then layer in your other toppings. Because if you don't, you don't get a bit of sour cream in every bite. Hello. Come on, Steve. Come on, all the tricks. Taco education. <laughs> all the trickery. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm calling that the taco hack of the night. Okay. <laughs> All right, well over 1,300 sets of the bowls are gone, and we are it. final quantities now in sage with only about 500 left to go around. The sage. Right, the sage, oh, very quickly. Shall we go this way? Yes. And talk cornbread. Oh my gosh, 